24-7, all I knew about is my child. I didn't know me anymore. I didn't know anything. Uh, he's autistic and he has ADHD. Um, I took the time out to spend time with him to get to learn his uh, illness because I didn't know. Um, it kind of took a toll on my life because I was dedicated to him and I basically lost focus of me, who I was and what I wanted to be and what I wanted to do. So, And that's when I decided, like, okay, I need to do something. I have to find myself. I have to reach out to someone to see if they can help me. And when I got here, they basically helped me how to start all over again. So I work with participants to help uh, them bring up their math and reading scores. Um, I also or co-facilitate a career readiness class, and that helps people um, get ready to and prepare them for the workplace and enter back into the workforce. Um, we do CNA training, so as a part of that training, this, the career readiness is a mandatory class that they take. It, it, it basically taught us Basically, if you if you have never either if you never had a job or if you've been out of work for so long, career readiness helped you get back on board. It basically started stated from the beginning and it helped you towards the end to the day of your interview. She came every day. She was very diligent with her work, you know, and, and working very really, really hard. She started in August. The career readiness class started in October, so within those two months she worked really hard to bring up her math scores. And then um, because of that, she was accepted into the CNA training. Basically, they taught me how to go back and resurface certain things that you want out of life as far as your goals and the meaning and um, what things that you want to strive for, what you want to do better. So that's how they, they helped me. And Juana was really um, determined. And, and just from watching her in the skills enhancement class, you know, she was determined to bring those scores up. So that entailed coming to class every day, studying very hard, asking questions, and what she did. Uh, she was very pleasant to, uh, and she contributed to, to the whole class. So um, I think it did a lot for her, for her esteem as well. I always held my self-confidence completely because, uh, like I said, I was lost and now I'm found. And if it wasn't for the YWCA, I don't think well. I think I probably would still be trying to figure out things if it wasn't for them. I have a job now, um, the training. I love the people that was here, Tanya and Stacy, and they was they are some wonderful women. Uh, very inspirational. They inspired me to do many great things and go forward with my life. Because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't know where I'd be at right now.